Hello everyone, my name is Basma Albayit. Today I am going to make a presentation about parent-child relationships, the neglect of natural law theme in King Lear. In this presentation, I will talk about who is William Shakespeare, short summary about the play, the theme of parent-child relationships, the neglect of natural law. Who is William Shakespeare? William Shakespeare is an English playwright, poet, and actor. He is widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's greatest dramatist. He is often called England's national poet. King Lear is about Lear, the aging king of Britain, decides to step down from the throne and divide his kingdom evenly among his three daughters. First, however, he puts his daughters through a test, asking each to tell him how much she loves him. Gunaril and Regan, Lear's older daughters, give their father flattering answers, but Cordelia, Lear's youngest and favorite daughter, remains silent saying that she has no words to describe how much she loves her father. Lears flies into a rage and, and disowns Cordelia. The, thing, the king of France who has courted Cordelia say that he still wants to marry her, even without her land. She accompanies him to France without her, her father's blessing. Leary quickly learned that he made a bad decision, Gunnarill and Regan swiftly being to undermine the little authority that Leary still holds, unable to believe that his beloved daughters are betraying him. Leary slowly goes insane, he floods his daughter's houses to wander on a heath during a great thunderstorm. Gloucester also experiences family problems. His illegitimate son, Edmund, tricks him into believing that his legitimate son, Edgar, is trying to kill him, fleeing the manhunt that his father has set for him. Edgar disguised himself as a crazy beggar and called himself poor Tom. Like Lear, he heads out onto the heath. When the loyal Gloucester realizes that Lear's daughter have turned against their father, he decides to help Lear in spite of the danger. Regan and her husband Cornwall discover him helping Lear. So they blind him and turn him out to wander the countryside. He ends up being led by his disguised son, Edgar, toward the city of Dover, where Lear has been brought. In Dover, a French army lands a, as a part of an invasion uh, led by Cordelia in an effort to save her father. Edmund becomes romantically in with both Regan and Gunnarill, whose husband is Alpany. Gloucester tries to commit suicide, but Edgar saves him by pulling the strange trick of leading him off an imaginary cliff. The English troops reach Dover, and the English, led by Edmund, defeat the Cordelia led the French. Lear and Cordelia are captured. Edgar duels with, with and kills Edmund. We learn of the death of Gloucester, Gunnarill, Poison, Regan, out of jealousy over Edmund and then kills herself when her betrayed is revealed to Alpany. Edmund's betrayal of Cordelia leads to prison and Lear finally dies out of grief at Cordelia's passing. Alpany, Edgar and Kent are left to take care of the country under a cloud of sorrow and regret. Parent-child relationships, the neglect of natural law, at the heart of King Lear lies the relationships between father and the child. Central to his filial theme is the conflict between man's law and natural law. Natural law is synonymous with the moral authority usually associated with divine justice. Those who adhere to tenets of natural law are those characters in the text who act for the common good. Ken, Edgar, Alpony, and Cordelia. Gloucester and Lear learn the importance of natural law when they recognize that they have violated these basic tense, with both finally turning to nature to find answer for why their children have betrayed them. Edmund, Gunnarill, Regan, and Cornwall represent the evil that function in violation of natural law. All are suffering from 
lack of higher moral authority since they never consider divine justice as they plot their evil. Their law is man-made and it focuses on the individual, not the good of the community. At the end of the play, Gunnarill and Regan's abandonment of natural order and their uh, evil has finally destroyed them. The audience learn uh, early in the final scene that Gunnarill has poisoned Regan and killed herself. Their deaths are a result of unnatural competition, both of power and for love. But Lear is the one who set in motion and need to establish strength through competition when he bitted sister against sister in the love test. For the audience, the generation conflict between parents and child is an expected part of life. We grow impatient with our parents and they with us. We attempt to control our children and they repel. When Gunnarill uh, complains that Alir and his men are out of control, we can emphasize that our parents' visit can extend too long or that our children's friend can be quite noisy. Shakespeare's examination of natural order is central to our own lives and that is one of the enduring qualities of King Lear.